Hey guys, Young Living Country Girl here with my little kiddos. And we just got the K-12 third grade pack in the mail. Now I know I did the review on the third grade curriculum that we're gonna be using this year for my daughter, but I wanted to try and see what K-12 offered. Um, I know I can ship it back if I'm not happy with it. And there's a lot here that looks amazing. I'm not 100% convinced yet because I really love the curriculum that we picked out. So, um, Kind of, I'm, I'm kind of more or less comparing right now, but I wanted to show you guys what all we do did get in the K-12 third grade kit, and then you can kind of see, and maybe then you don't have to order it and go through it and then spend all the trouble of packing it up and shipping it back if you decide you don't want to do it. So let me show you what we got and what came in our K-12 third grade kit. Okay, so here is my little one. She's going to help me tell you about it. Um, she wanted to start with her history box. So go ahead and show us what you got in the history box. I got this really cool glow that is like super cool and it shows more like stuff and tells more about it than the other ones do. Like in kindergarten, they didn't have this much because my brother has kindergarten. But yeah, so this is really cool and it tells you all about it. So she got a globe. Here's my globe. And um, here's the K-12 map. Um, both sides, and just like my globe, it tells more than it tells just as much. Like what? <laughs> See, so it's really cool. So you have the world on one side, and then you have the United States on the other. Yeah. One thing that's really cool is it shows your. It has a circle to Europe, and it shows all about Europe, like Spain and then Europe. So this is the student book for the K-12. So this would be like our student's book. Now it will go through and it will it will give the lessons. And there's a lot of this is done online. So it gives you a little prepared part for what you know you need to do as the teacher. And then it gives you the activities. And if you look there, it says, you know, online you're going to be watching about these things. Um, then it goes into, you know, your written instructions and how what you're going to do. So it's, it is nice as far as, you know, it does give a lot of detail. Um, a lot of this, as you can see, online, online, online. So you do have to be online quite a bit for this particular and one. And there's the same thing, but in part two. And so here would be part two. Oh, so you get two of these huge books. And then you also are going to get, you want to show them those ones? Yes. You're going to get this book, which it looks like this got returned somehow. So this is the American Revolution, so obviously that's probably going to go along being with history. So you got a little book about the American Revolution. And then there is this book, which is... Um, Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo. So you can learn... One of the coolest ones, and it's also known as a Ninja Turtle in some shows. <laughs> it and is. But this is not about the Ninja Turtle. So this is going to be getting to know the world's greatest artist, Michelangelo. So obviously that's going to be part of our history. And then we have this America. Red, white, and blue corn. America, 1492. It's really cool. It's just like a magazine. It's like a magazine. Yeah, it's, it's a magazine, like kind of material, kind of thin. Um, but it kind of goes through the different, you know, uh, so right, that's 14. Really cool. And then there is this. It's um, like kind of tells more about the states and stuff I could do. Understanding geography. This looks like a pretty cool book. Um, it definitely looks, it's you cool. know, map skills in our world and kind of, you know, how to read a map and skill builders and stuff. And just um, that shows all that what you're supposed to so that was her history box. And, and yeah, and then there's the just the everything. inventory checklist. So that was her history. So here's the art box. We chose art as her elective. Um, there was a choice between art or Spanish, and we decided to go with art. So she got a couple. How artists see families. So this book is, yeah, how artists see families. So that seems kind of interesting, talking about how, I guess, they have chosen to depict families and stuff, some of the famous artists and, you know, family ones. <laughs> um, how artists see work. How artists see work, how they've painted it in different ways. And then there is the so it's a nice book again. And then this is um, the student pages. Yeah. The student pages, um, I was looking at this because 
this was new. And it looks like this is basically your teacher's guide and your student book. So it's going to go through, you know, giving you your teachers, the materials you're going to need, um, any advanced prepar <laughs> preparation you need to do. Um, and then it kind of goes through and talks about your activities. Um, again, online, a lot of stuff is online. There's, And then you're going to paint, you know, like the color wheel. So it goes through the lesson, and then it has their actual page in here, too, that they're going to do. And then you'll start, you know, the next lesson, you know, lesson four. And then it goes through again and tells everything. So this is your student art book for the art. Can you show them the rest of the stuff you got? This is the paper that I'm going to paint on. Oh, they give them a pad of paint paper. This has to be my favorite. New paints. I love paints. Paint brush, molding clay. There's, uh, there, this is the molding clay. So they give them some molding clay for doing sculptures. Like making. And then they got then they, pastel oils, oil pastels. So that's pretty nice. So they can do learn about painting with that. And then there's all these tempera paints. So cool. I've always wanted like temporal paints, you know. And then some different paint brushes. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. I mean, as far as the art, I'm, I'm really excited because she is an amazing artist already. So it'll be really fun to, you know, do this. Um, this is part of the kit that I really wish, like, I wish it was more uh, adaptable and you could kind of pick and say, okay, we want to do art, but we don't want to do history, you know. But unfortunately, you can't do that with this program. So I'm not sure how we're going to do it, but we might end up just kind of taking some of the ideas and going out and doing them ourselves. So. Maybe I could paint Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Science. Science third grade. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Students. And there's this really big two student one. So you got your two student guides again. This just like history. Hold on. So just like history, we have our student guides. And it's going to go through... Um, this one is talking about the tundra and your research, and um, it tells you what page because there's actual books that go along with this and how to, you know, research about it. Um, and here's how your lessons will start. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, an assessment. So here we go, student guide. Um, there has the teacher's guide in here as well. And then again, you know, it's showing the computer you need to be online for parts of this one again too. Um, and then again here it's like offline, online. So it kind of goes through and tells you when you're going to go on there um, and how you're going to do it. And then it goes into their reading guide. So it's pretty, pretty um, in-depth. And then here would be the students' pages. So these science lessons look pretty serious. <laughs> so we'll have to see how those go. Okay, sorry about that. see the book thank so you it's really cool. so here's the book let's open it up here it kind of talks about the moon it looks like a pretty cute book you know it'll be fun to kind of do a moon study <coughs> the moon is such an awesome thing to research okay what else oh um sunshine makes the seasons change by the same people <laughs> all right let's see that one okay so we've got I was talking about how the moon and everything, I guess, affects it and how the planet changes. Or, I'm sorry, how the seasons change. So that's going to be pretty cool. Okay, what else is in there? Um, a walk in the... Um, Let me see. Tundra? Tundra by Rebecca L. Johnson. <laughs> All right, so can we look at that one? Let's get a close up. So, a walk in the tundra. That looks pretty cool. And it's going to go through kind of talking about what you see in the tundra. So, that will be really fun for science. Okay, we got to hurry. A walk in Batter's the rainforest. Dying. So cool. A walk in the rainforest. Okay, show me the front, please. All right, so there we go. The walk in the rainforest. That looks pretty cute, too. Next one. We have a walk in. Walk in the prairie. 
by the same people by Rebecca L. Johnson. Same with this, A Walk in the Desert by Rebecca L. Johnson. Rebecca L. Johnson. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that would be cool. Okay. A Walk in the Boreal Forest. Same people by Rebecca L. Johnson. A Walk in a Different Type of Forest would be Deciduous Forest. By Rebecca L. Johnson. So it's just pretty That's much pretty cool. Thing, okay? okay. Okay, this is my food. My brother has been trying to steal it ever since I got it. What is it? It's a little compass. So it's really cool. Oh. So it really shows. Cool. I don't want to scratch stuff. So what else is there in your science? Can you show me the last of it? Well, that was all in this box. Okay. What's the rest of the science, though? Well, the rest of my science stuff, he's been trying to steal too. Ooh, a big beaker for a science project. Which I can make stuff oh. explode into my eyes as long as I'm wearing these. <laughs> Safety glasses. I don't know if anything's going to explode when I open it. A thermometer. It's at 38. Ah, a little 30. temperature gauge here. And then there's this. Magnifying glass. Ooh. Is that all? For science. Awesome. Okay, so there's our science that we would be doing. Okay. I'm going to put this back. So, um, the shapes. This is our math box. comes with the 3D shapes. We don't need to go through them all, honey. <laughs> Triangle, circle, you know, just the basic, like, three shapes. Okay. These are my favorite, because I can make ice cream! <laughs> all right. What else is in the box? I don't know. Until I open it. Well, a little chart. So we have our hundreds, thousands, or thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And then they came with the little blocks here. The ones blocks. They gave with ten blocks. And then they came with the hundreds, like the math ten ones. There's a whole bunch of the hundred ones. And then there's um, a big thousands block too. So it's really cool for kind of getting the idea of the number, place, and value, which we... Uh, It'll be good to work with. We need to look at all that stuff, okay, you guys? I just don't want it near me when I'm doing everything. It bothers me. I just need it right there. Come on. And then, um, these just go with the lessons. They have a 10th lesson that every time. They're the, 2D, they're the 2D shapes. And I didn't realize it was my son's because he got some too. But they actually have numbers on the bags. So like this one says 10, so that means it's going to be, this bag is going to be used with less than 10 and less than 18 and 13. So depending on which ones you need, which kind of, to me, it seems kind of redundant in some ways because you could probably use some of them over and over again, but they have each lesson has its own bag for using. So, <laughs> but just cool. But Okay. What else was in there? And then we had our thousands block right here. And then we got our math books. So we have, let me show this one, honey. It's not right. This is our lesson guide for the parent, teacher, learning coach. And it's going to go through everything. Um, there's online and offline work in these as well. Um, so you kind of have your lesson overview, um, what's going to happen, how long it should take, and it tells you what's online, when's offline. And any of your advanced preparation. Here's pretty much the same thing. And then it goes into a lot more detail. What to say, what to ask. You know, kind of going through the whole thing. And then again, online and offline. Um, we did order the teaching textbooks fourth grade because she's actually been doing fourth grade math. So I don't think we'll be using it. <laughs> um, okay. Same thing just for students. And then here's the students book. Nope, this is still the teacher one. Yep, the student book should be... There isn't a student book. There isn't a student book. Okay. Wow. I think we're supposed to have a student book because this is... 
Is this the, oh, I guess this is the student book. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so here's the student book. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, so there's our student book. So that's a pretty hefty book. <laughs> so that would be the math stuff. All of the tens, the 3Ds, and everything, and all of our thousands. So here's our language arts. Um, we also got handwriting. So let me show you this. We got the handwriting without tears, and it's the third grade cursive one. Let me show off this. That's just the writing paper. Here's going to be your teacher guide telling you how to help them, you know, learn how to write them. And then the actual writing warm-ups and how to do it. So that's going to be your handwriting without tears. And then it has the little reference. Can you not speak over me? That's really rude. Well, it's George Washington. So this is, yeah, this goes with language arts. Even though it is history, this is actually going to go with the language arts. We have this book, um, George Washington, Soldier, Hero, President, The Glory of Greece. And then again, it's kind of one of those magazine books that talks about the world. and the, or on the um, It's called World, K okay, World, and it's the weather or not, talking about weather. So those are going to go with language arts. We'll do this last. Okay. okay, and then here's the actual language arts material. There's a lot. So we have two huge teacher's guides. Again, they're going to be laid out the same as the math as far as you're going to have your, you know, what to do, advanced prep and all of that, and, and then show you the online, offline. Um, trying to get to a lesson. Here we go. So it's going to tell you, you know, what you're going to do, all your preparation, and the wind and the sun, like, you know, offline, and... This is all done offline, and then you go through. It tells you what all to, you know, teach them, what to go through. And this one seems like it was mostly offline. And then this one's going to have 40 minutes of online when you're doing warm-ups and your readings and all of this. And then you're going to do offline stuff too. So it's going to go through the same way. You actually got two teacher's books. There's teacher's book one, and then there's teacher's book two. So you got two huge teacher's books. Then you've got your student book one and two as well that go with those and they're pretty cool you know they go through and have a nice they're nice and colorful very uh thorough we chose the bob jones and we'll probably stick with bob jones because we really love that one but this is such a great i think curriculum especially where we live k-12 is free and looking at what all they're getting i think it's a great option especially if you on a budget, it seems like they have so much to okay, offer. This is my favorite, my journal. I get to put my picture, write my name, and then like on what show I get write my, what my dream was. So yeah, she's gonna be doing a journal thing, and that's gonna be part of her writing skills. And it goes through, you know, gives you a reason to write, and has you asks you a question, and has you write something about it. Um, you know, just different different things that are gonna go along with you know, um, the lessons that they're going to be teaching. So, and then she has the language arts assessment books one and two. And I, I guess that maybe these are kind of like, um, yeah, they're kind of like your test to see how you're doing, how you're comprehending, how, you know, to kind of give you some work and some assessment to see how you're doing. So, I don't know if this is what they're going to ask us to send back, and that's why it's separate. I really don't know. <laughs> well, there's pages stuck together have, right there, and okay. they're not because they're stuck inside. Well, they didn't get cut. Oh, printer. So there. now we have the Young Classic Readers, Volume C. We have Volume A for Isaiah in our kindergarten class. So, so there's all kinds of stories. Um, there's quite a few different stories in here, so that's cool. A kitten is cool. So you're going to have all kinds of stories in here. And again, that's going to correlate with your language arts. Um, if it's like my my uh, son's yeah. See if you look. Sorry. So this book is actually divided into two. So if you the front part, see up here it says writing skills. And then up here we have literature and comprehension. So you're actually going to do literature and comprehension. Then you flip to the back of the book and you do a lesson in writing skills. And that goes through... Um, the literature and comprehension will go with this book as far as like the stories and stuff will be in there. So okay. that is all of the language arts. And then we got a couple of extra bonus things. She gets a little my accomplishment chart. And it came, lots and lots of cool, cool, cool came with stickers. So when she finishes up a unit, she goes ahead and puts a sticker on there. Um, and then it came with a free book bag that says go read a book. 
Go read a book. With so. a weirdish night is <laughs> so there you go that is the k-12 third grade pack and there's a lot here um like i said we're gonna have to kind of go through and see a little bit more in depth what we're going to do if we're going to keep it if it's worth it for us to keep it or if we just are going to stick with what we have so like i said there was a couple things that i really felt strong about keeping you know what we have but then there's some other things that are great in here so i don't know we'll have to wear our, wear our options it's our, a lot of school work <laughs> yeah. Aww. all right thanks for watching have a great day bye Doodles. <laughs>